Hey Nomies, it's me Nisha and I'm coming to you with the sickle cell video. If you guys could see how I got this camera set up, I can't find my tripod. But come hell or high water, I was going to do this video. So my head might be cut off. Let me see if I can push myself back. And FYI, I'm not editing this. This is going up completely raw. Okay. Um, because that is one of the things that's been keeping me from uploading like I want to. Because when I record it, then I got to edit it, then I got to upload it, then I, eh, 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 anybody got time for all of that. So, um, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. As you can see from the title, I'm talking about sickle cell and weather. I've talked about this before because um, I've talked about it a lot in my like just regular sickle cell vlogs and I think I actually did like a sit down video on it but y'all it's super serious y'all I got notes and a notebook and a pen girl but no so seriously um, some people don't that don't have sickle cell don't understand that weather affects us and I live in the Midwest, so we get all the seasons, all of them. Like, our weather is completely bipolar. Like, literally, it can be, like, 80 degrees one day, and then the next week we can have snow or something like that. Like, it's crazy. But, so, weather does affect um, sickle cell. And it, it affects anybody who has chronic pain or joint pain. Um... And the way that it affects us is, this kind of going to be like a, a informative video. And I'm going to give a few tips at the end. So, for the people who have sickle cell, but like, man, I always feel bad when this, or da 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 Because, you know, when I was a kid, my mom used to be like, oh, you can't go outside, it's raining, or this and this. And I used to be like, man, this lady is crazy. Like, I want to go outside. Like, what the heck? But as I got older, I've learned, like, certain certain weather I can't be in. And I don't let, you y'all know my, uh, my hashtag, sickle cell can't stop me. So I don't let sickle cell stop me or I don't let the weather stop me. But I have things that I do to help me adjust for when we have the, those bad weather. And the thing is, I said bad weather, but sunny weather can hurt us too. So I'm going to get to that. So... Um, all weather can affect sickle cell. Like I just said, rain, snow, sunny weather, all of it, all of it can affect us. Um, the rain and snow affects us because the air pressure is different. Like, so, okay. Imagine if you have a sore spot, your knee is your area. Like my right knee is my area that acts up. And when it's about to rain or snow, the air pressure is heavier. So basically, air pressure is always around us. It's always, you know, you can't see it, but it's always around us. So it's always around us. So for that bad knee, when it's about to rain and the air is thicker, and you, you know what I'm talking about when it's about to rain and it's that muggy and that, that hard feeling in the air, the air pressure is different. So you have that sore knee or whatever your area is that hurts with the weather, and that air is pushing in on that spot. So that that's like how it affects us as far as like the snow and the rain or the humidity and all that stuff. Now, as far as the sun, it affects us because when it's really, really hot, hot being dehydrated is bad for people with sickle cell. So if it's too hot, you can get dehydrated faster than you normally would. And then that can cause you to have pain and have a crisis too. So like I said, I prefer warm weather, but I have to be careful with warm weather and make sure that I'm drinking and all of that, drinking water and all that stuff. Now, as far as the rain, getting caught in the rain, y'all, mm -mm. especially that cold rain, you know it's a different. You know that summer rain that you open the window and you like get that breeze and it just feels good? Not that rain. I'm talking about that fall rain. Like, it hits you and it feels like ice picks. If you have sickle cell, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you have a kid that has sickle cell or you're new to, like, 
having sickle cell, whatever, don't get caught in the rain, especially the cold rain. Like, I don't act like I'm, I'm melting. Like, you know, when it's raining and stuff. Well, I actually do kind of act like I'm melting. Like, when it's raining, like, I try to, like, I still go outside. But, like, my husband will either drop me off at the door or I'll park in handicap parking close to the door. Because that cold, when that cold rain hits you, it literally, that's what it feels like. Like, somebody got ice picked. Because y'all know what cold does to us. Um, So, I try not to get caught in the rain. And snow brings low temperatures, which also brings pain. So, I mean, basically, with me, where I live, because we have all of the seasons, I'm kind of screwed no matter what the weather is or what the month is. So, I just learned how to adjust. Um, I Like I said, I prefer the warmer weather. Like, this weather that we're having now, it's raining today. So, I woke up really achy. But this warmer weather, you know, like 70s, 80s, that's perfect for me. It's not cold. It's not too warm. Because too warm made me sick before too. So, now tips. I normally try to check the weather seven days out. And so, I kind of mentally can prepare for what I'm going to have to do. Because with sickle cell, even though it's physical, a lot of it for us is mental like we have to be mentally prepared so i try to check it for that so i know how to dress and i know like what type of um treatment i might need depending on the weather because depending on the weather you have different pains for the different weather like the pain that you would get from if you got if got too hot and got dehydrated is a different pain than you getting caught in the rain like if you have sickle cell, if you have arthritis, if you have any type of joint pain, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, now, um, with the snow, obviously, I layer and try to keep warm and all of that stuff because cold is the devil for sickle cell. Like, it literally feels like somebody's stabbing you when, when you feel that pain from being cold or cold weather. So, yeah, no. Sunny weather, like I said, I try to make sure I hydrate. Rainy weather, I try to make sure that I get don't get wet, especially if it's not warm. If it's warm, then I don't act like I'm melting as much. I just like, you know, ooh, 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 like that. You know how you be like, ooh, let me, ooh, it's raining, ooh, ooh, like that. But if it's that cold rain, I'll be, be as fast as I can run, which is not that fast, but, you know. Um... And the other tip that I do is, I already said this, but different pain, different weather causes different pain. Like, let me try to explain it. Like, the pain that you get from it being cold is like an achy kind of pain. Like an arthritis kind of pain. Like that annoying pain. Like, that type of pain. And the pain that you get from if you get caught in the rain is a stabbing, aching pain. And the pain that you get from getting dehydrated it doesn't to me everybody's different but to me doesn't hurt as bad as the rain or the cold pain the getting caught in the rain pain is the worst one like you legit feel like somebody is stabbing you with a, a ice pick that's what it feels like um i i didn't want this video to be too like teachy teachy like i just wanted to come back and be nisha and talk to y'all keep the video under 10 minutes because i know y'all don't be having all day just to be sitting there watching me all day and stuff you know i know i'm special and no, i'm joking but no i don't want the videos to be too long because that gets boring but yeah i just wanted to touch on it a little bit you guys let me know down below what other kind of videos you want from me i'm gonna do a um herb video basically going over the herbs that i use and the different things that i use to manage my sickle cell and my sickle cell pain that video is coming up even if it's a video that i've done in the past you can still request that i do it again because i mean you learn new things so i'm just like this weather thing like i if you go look at my old weather video, it's definitely not exactly the same. I said some things that are similar, but it's not exactly the same. So, I miss you guys. I'm I'm going to stop saying, I told y'all I'm going to stop saying, oh, I'm back. No, but I'm back. No, seriously, I'm back. Um, Life just happened, and I'll do an update video, but I'm back. Hey, no me. Okay.
that's it because it's 10 minutes bye y'all